I'm gonna throw in the Konami code and just give us a little bit of uh, extra lives, because I just want to have fun tonight. I don't want to be trying to do anything that's going to annoy the piss out of me, so. Oh, Konami, you used to be so good. Gotta listen to the epic music for the intro. Starring! Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo. Subtitles whose names... Like that, that was, it was, was it just me or was that way too fast to read what the hell it said under their names? Um, okay, so I'm gonna go on normal, but I'm gonna do, okay. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B, A. Why did that not do anything? Oh, no, that's not. No movie can't toggle frame count. Well, fuck you then. All right, let's try it. Let's just not do it with the gamepad then. Because it seems to be having issues. It says to set the number of continues. It's up, up, down, round, left, right, left, right. And controller two. Oh, apparently Slash is bound to Super Scope Pause. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be using that anytime soon. Show pressed keys. Okay, so let's just put that, like, there, maybe? Try this again. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, then A. And that's supposed to be able to let me set the number of lives. But it doesn't, so it can go fuck itself. Secret song. Okay, well, you know what? Um, this game can go fuck itself, and we're just gonna play it normally. So, before I'm gonna reset so that I don't. None of that option bullshit is set. We're just gonna play it. Normal, control type A, back attack on, rest. Oh, there it is. Okay. Fucking rest. All right. Cowabunga. Cowabunga. Gotta be done. Hey, Shredder. I don't care. Let's go kick some ass. Sunk so much money into this the arcade version of this. I know you grab people. Here, 
Don't do that. That costs help. Maybe I should have looked at the controls. That might have been a smart idea. All right, there we go. God, I love these beat ups. No, you're not throwing ninja stars at me. Who said you could punch me? Knock me off the screen from my pizza. I do intend on playing this a bit more seriously at some point on the screen. But look at me. Robot humanoid. Whatever the hell you are. Okay. Oh. Come on, Baxter. Terminate the turtles. He always does that stupid laugh after he hits you. <laughs> he just explodes and goes up over the side. Oh, this game's so good. Alley Cat Blues. Although, like, this game would be nowhere near as good as it is if it wasn't just deep nostalgia. Or is it select and start? No. Although for some reason select pauses. I didn't accidentally remap select, did I? I was messing with the keys a lot. Ah! Cancel. I think I did mess with the keys. I think I did change it by accident. Okay, start is that. No, no, everything's everything is exactly as it should be. For some reason, select pauses. Not thinking of like the remake that they made of this game, did you? Are you? Maybe that's it. I can't believe, like, the fact that they remade this game basically was like, yeah, we haven't made a good Turtles game since Turtles in Time. 
So let's just make let's just remake Turtles in Time. Midled. I'm gonna mangle you green slime balls. I don't know why he said slime balls. He definitely didn't say slime balls and I just mispronounced it. Actually, I think technically the text said Slim Balls, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I could be wrong, but I swear I saw it, what was written say be Slim Balls, and I was like, what? Nope, nope, you're not gonna get me, you little wanker. Cowabunga! And now the, the level that's based off of one episode of the 90s cartoon. It was the only episode I had on VHS. With the, like, the pizza monsters from uh, Dimension X. I, can tell I can't remember why Shredder had them. But I, I mean, like, they don't exactly explain a lot in the show. It's, it's, but, like... These meatballs that are supposed to lure the turtles out. I think that's probably what it was. Uh, to this, like, uh, this pizza, I can't remember, some sort of pizza related contest. And. Um, shit. Yeah, gotta avoid these. Somehow the turtles don't end up taking any of the pizzas home. And they, the aliens get activated when the pizza gets microwaved. There they are there. Visually, they're very much like... Like aliens from Alien, except they're, like, yellow. Unless, unless I mean, maybe they are featured in, like, one of the Mirage comics or something. And I just don't know. Fast that so has then the world. I think I think I'm supposed to hit him where it's his break point. It really seems like a design flaw to put that on your your uh, really obvious toy. I love that that is basically like exactly what you would expect. That's probably exactly what the 
Was it Mikel that made the turtle's toys? I can't remember who made the turtle's toys. But that's probably... My go! My go! Is probably exactly what they looked like. Like, if you got a Rat King, uh... Toy or set, he probably came with that thing. Oh my god. Come on, you Stop throwing toe paint at me. Bunga! Technodrome next? Technodrome. That's what I always loved about this game, too, is it's like, the Technodrome is the fourth level. So you get to go to the tre Technodrome before you get to, like, the end of the game. Technodrome. So you get to do, like, the coolest part of the cartoon. God, I wanted a Technodrome so bad when I was a kid. Like, the toy one that opened up. Mousers. Oh man, these mount the mousers wrecking me. Ah, more mousers. Off my goddamn hand. Oh, I'm gonna die. I mean... Oh no, sirs. Ah, there we go. Another death! Oh, and the pizza was right there! Oh, these guys. Guess I should've grabbed the pizza for points, but... Okay, let's start spinning. Ha 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 ha. May know this game <laughs> a little bit. This is making me want to play other Turtles games too. I really need to get the game capture. Like I've got oh, Toko and Rajar. And apparent that's to say have fun. Fun! So, in case you ever come across any mutated animals, people, remember, beating them to the living death with a stick is the best way to turn them back to normal. Particularly if they breathe fire and ice, even though that wasn't in the movie.
Ah, uh, I should have taken the pizza. I was like, oh, I need to hold off on taking the pizza. I didn't think I would die in one hit, though. There we go. Tonight I dine on Settles. One, two, three, Go with me! Oh my god. Now! My patience is where I'm set. I'm banishing you to a time warp from which you'll never return. No, Donnie! Prehistoric Telsar! This is the level with the dinosaurs that are dicks. The whole Shredder fight was is basically a someone had this idea that was like this would be a really cool fight. Let's do this. And so they had to implement this entire game mechanic. The only purpose of it <laughs> is fighting Shredder for that one fight. For throwing the things at the screen. And because we're in prehistory, of course, we need to fight guys with axes. Who, instead of taking a swing with their axe, decide to, you know, put me in a full Nelson. And I think here's where the rock soldiers are, for no good reason.
Oh, wait, yeah, it is a really cool idea. It's just kind of hilarious to implement an entire game mechanic based around one fight. Although I was really, really bad at it when I was a kid. And I would just struggle and struggle and struggle to throw the foot soldiers at the screen. Uh -oh. oh. Stop punching Donnie! History slime balls. That time slime balls was spelled correctly. If I remember correctly, the slash fight was always really annoying. And never good. At it. As I was about to say, that seems like a really weird thing to make you want to play. Yeah, I'm definitely hitting the continues at this point. I have to start all the fuck over again? Oh, that's bullshit. I should just hit start on the second player controller. Damn it. I knew there was another one over there, but I didn't think he'd get me that easily. Way axe man.
Damn it. Who punches a man in the back? And by man, I mean a turtle. Who punches a turtle? Robots, that too. Oh man. Come on. Dudes. Okay, they did not come through that like that before. Kitty. Ah! Yes, April! We will fight! God, April, how are you even here in the past? Your history, Slim Balls. Okay, I can't attack him from front on because that is just dangerous. This fight's so much easier if playing two-player, because you can just stand on either side of him. Because here I can't get to the other side of him very easily. Go away, Slash! I don't even know why you're in the past! Baffles me! Alright, oh, now he starts doing his spin ball thingamajig. Shit, my dick. No, 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 no! There you go, there you go. And for some reason he explodes, cuz... made like the foot soldiers that went back like more er era appropriate they gave you like the I don't know, that doesn't really make sense. They gave, i was about to say they gave the the ones that are in the prehistory axes but for some reason there's some here that have arrows i mean i guess the pirates had arrows but like I want, I want like a foot soldier with an eye patch Okay. 
Kitty. Kitty. And chakrams for some reason. What could you ever need the internet for? I mean, don't leave! Like, it still is baffling that, like, they haven't really made a good Turtles game since this. And, like, there's so many ways that you could just take this game and improve it. And none of those, none of those ways are more graphic. pick that up when I did. Why are they fly shooting flaming arrows on their own ship? I should just make like... I should start making a... S I wonder if there is a way to this. It probably is. It's just all about like poor video game logic. We completely just like me complaining about like... Why are they shooting the ship with flaming arrows? The ship would slowly catch fire. This is very unwise of these robots from the future. Pizza, pizza, pizza! Mm. Well, like... You could tighten up the controls a little bit. But, like, I don't see any reason... Oh. No big gun. Like, if they made the levels... Like, one of the things I loved about the original, like, arcade game was, like, the destructible environment stuff. So why not add more of that? You could add branching paths, but like there are different ways to go. The strongest thing about this game is like the art style, and when they remade it, they remade it with like modern styles, and I'm like, dude, like, there's a reason why plenty of pixel games are still made. It's because. Like, people still love cartoons. I know that they re-released the, like, arcade version on the XBLA, I think. Or maybe I'm misremembering. Man, you guys are, like, wrecking me. Yeah. 
All right, they'll just fight each other. If I let them, I think they just fight each other. Because they're idiots. The thing is, too, with this game, it's so, like, strange for knowing, like, as much turtle stuff as I do, how little this makes any sense in any of the existing, like, canons of the... It's like, it's clearly based on the cartoon, but a lot of it just doesn't make any sense. But, that's, I mean, like, that's the beauty of video games. You guys don't have to make sense. It's a cartoon, Dad. You guys don't have to make sense. Yeah, it's like, so, <laughs> worst disguise ever. So why is Leatherhead working for, for Shredder? Why, why, like, Slash I could understand. Slash is very easily tricked. But Leatherhead's like, not really a villain. Yeah, okay. And for some reason, these... These ones from the Wild West are carrying... I'm assuming those are supposed to be railway tracks. But they are way too big to be whale, railway tracks. Let's leave that there for a second. Pizza time. Get over here. Like wrestling holds. Like things you could do with modern games is have it so that like the rock soldiers, if they shoot off that missile thing, and you're, like, being held by one of their, like, other rock soldiers, then it hits them, too. Oh, I should have jumped too early. Ah, we survived. Yes, April, I am moving along. Damn it. I was trying to switch over to the other player. Yeah, I need to grab that controller a bit sooner. Well, it's because in the action movies, the f because the way that they made the movies is that the Foot Clan are all humans. 
but the people that made the cartoon were really smart. And, like, it's just, they're all robots. They look like they're humans, but they're not. They're all robots. So, they like, they can use their weapons as much as they want. They're just all mindless automatons. Well, not mindless, but clearly have some level of intelligence considering that they're, like, able to pattern their attacks, but... I think they explode quite regularly. And, of course, these are aliens. They're not humans, so you can beat those things up, too. The men made out of rock. They're not men. Pizza time. Pizza time, motherfucker. I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know what Shredder's motivation is. Because, like, Shredder's motivation in, in the uh, show has always been kind of nebulous, to be perfectly honest. But, like, Krang is quite obviously, he just likes making people suffer, so... Like, I think that's completely his motivation. And probably why, like, he, he made deals with Shredder is because then, he, like, he got to make Shredder suffer. It's part of it, because he seemed to really enjoy making Shredder suffer. Assholes. Move along. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Ah! It's a trap! Okay, Leatherhead. Oh, good. Fresh turtles for lunch. <laughs> I love his animation, too. Like, his animation is, like, the best thing ever. Because he looks, like, so super derpy. So I have no idea how I do that one jump attack, and now he's throwing crawdads at me. You know, just in case you didn't re didn't remember, he's Cajun. We gotta throw in crawdads at him. My papa told me. I'm getting too distracted, too. That's part of the problem, is it's like, I'm just finding this very amusing. Not, not like the foot soldier parts. Oh, and now, oh, the... So stupid. So incredibly stupid. Neon Night Riders. Twenty twenty. Now remember, this is in five years. Oh yeah, but like, they're still amazing, it's just, like, stupid fun is good fun, as long as it's very clearly willing to be stupid fun. And not, like, trying to be something that it isn't. Like, it's, if it's gonna be stupid, it should at least be, like, very willing to be, like, obvious that it's stupid. That's why I hate the god-awful... Well, it's one of the many reasons that I hate the Transformers movies. It's, it's just so fucking serious. 
and ponderous, and it's like... No. I want to see robots punch each other. That's why I only saw the first movie. comes Krang's body, which for some reason is no longer giant like it was earlier. Yet again, never explained. Face the wrath of Super Krang! Sure, Super Krang. Oh my god, I love the expression in Krang's face. The tongue that sticks out. When you hit him. It's amazing. Never noticed that before. I think this is the first time I've actually played this game with, like, you know, a non-shitty monitor or TV. And in case you forgot what year it is, it's on the wall and back in very big characters. Rock Soldier just try to, like, Kirk punch me? Like the double-fisted, like, back punch that Kirk always does in Star Trek? <laughs> Suddenly these ones teleport. Go away with your tuning forks! I want some pizza, where's some pizza? No, I don't need, like, foot soldiers from... shoots. What are you doing in there? Oh, okay. oh, I don't need pizza. Oh. That's like... What's with the yellow one? Or the orange one? Oh, 
Oh, this area. Oh, that just... that sucks. Like, here's another area where the game could be improved. Is that... That ice effect should apply to the foot soldiers as well. Also, what's with the big ball? Here's that thing that she said! Yeah! Green balls. Okay, maybe not die, because my toe is on fire. And what the hell are those things? This is just, this is escalating very quickly, and I am not liking it. Bumps! Oh, and electricity. Also, again, electricity should fry robots. Mmm, floor pizza. Okay, Crank. Oh, no. Okay, Crank. You did dang it, dang You shall have their dad. I cannot do a good Crank voice. I wish I could. I love the Crank voice. Something like that. Oh, now I remember that James Avery's dead. The voice Shredder. Thank you, game. I was not even near the fucking bubbles. Is a thing that makes no sense in any other context. Well, no, I guess it can make sense in other contexts. It's just... And now we're doing robots? I think I'm gonna have to use the other player to defeat Super Shredder.
Because I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Okay. Sorry, Donnie. Oh, Alright, we're back as Donnie. That tolls our way home! Let's go! Playing this for fun. Hacks are allowed. Complete full on hacks. I love his like ex his like like weird like I've been hit animation. This looks so weird. No, I can't play this with two controllers at once. I don't think my brain's built for that. It's a hell of a lot faster. It's probably how they balance it for Donnie's reach. Ninjas. Yeah, fuck that shit. Bang. 
work. Well, 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 well. <sighs> Me thinks that's going to be it for the night. It's a little earlier than I would have normally streamed on for Tuesday, but... Uh, I got some stuff I want to get done. I really want to get some stuff up on YouTube, so... I think that's what I'm going to go end up doing. We are going to play through this at some point and, and not play it uh, so fucking haxy, but... Um, not today. Not today, my friends. So, uh, name is Potato Fishy. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming out and hanging out. Thanks uh, for chatting, Pond Scum and Zergo and Fryrus and Mellow Death. Thanks for the new sub, Mellow Death. Thanks for the host. Uh, really a blast talking about Isaac with you. Eh. Oh, but I am tired. So I'm going to throw out some VGM music, and I'm going to be back tomorrow night again. So I will see you again, and maybe I'll strip a little bit longer tomorrow night than I normally would, and then maybe things will balance out. I didn't even make, I didn't even make any notes for tonight, so I have no idea when my breaks are. Oh my god, that was like, that was the weirdest thing. The... The, like, honest gaming guy that just popped in out of nowhere and, like, started telling a, a scary story, but there were a bunch of typos, and then that was it. That was so weird. Ugh. Anyway, I need to go. Name's Potato Fishy. Give me some follows. I'd love to have some follows. YouTube, Twitter, wherever. Um, I'm going to be back tomorrow night. I don't know what I'm playing. I was supposed to get stuff ready for Dishonored, but that didn't happen, so maybe we're going to dick around on Super Nintendo a little bit longer. Because uh, it's, it's easy to do. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow night. Enjoy some VGM. And once more. <laughs>